Uh, time to bring you Ghanaian players abroad, and the man that's been keeping tabs on all of them, including Fatal Ishahaku, who just got a brace of assists for himself this evening for Leicester City. Karim Benny Adamu is here. My Sweet. friend, how are you? Did you hear the news? What's the news? The former Black Princess uh, uh, Six coach, Robert Saki, said the GFA should augment the Black Star squad. Uh, the Black Stars technical team. Uh -huh. Augment? Yes. By doing what? By adding coaches to the team, and I'm available to do that free of charge. Yes. <laughs> and I could just be that missing piece to lifting the Afcon trophy. Okay, That's I see. Uh, okay, we hear here. We hear. <laughs> we hear. Uh, what, what's been happening? Uh, you've got a lineup for us. Yes. And it's all about what goes, goes, goes. I have a front three that has five goals among them. Yeah. In the wings, I have two goals, two goals each. In the front, I have a goal. At the left side of the midfield, there's Jeff Philop, who has also provided an assist. Then Lawrence Atizigi, he provide, uh, he, he, his performance over the weekend is his second best this season. He kept a clean sheet against FC Zurich. They, uh, his sides and Galen won 1 0. They played against Daniel Afriye's team and he made seven saves in that game. Acted as a sweeper once, made two high claims. And the seven saves he's made, that's the second best, like equal this season he has made in a single game to end the first round in the Swedish league. Then we have Gideon Mensa, he played for. AJOZ, they won 2 0 against Ayasu in that game. He won 2 over 2 of the tackles he attempted and also made 10 final third passes. Then Ali Dusedu, Clement Fort lost against Marseille, but in that game he was decent, made 5 out of 5 tackles and won all of them and also won 10 duels. That's the most in the game, the most tackles are well. Where's Dennis Odoy? Dennis Odoy, he plays much of uh, uh, like a substitute for. Club Brugge in the um, Bel okay. Bel Belgium League. Then Opoku, his side, they drew two to against Rodes in the... Is that Jerome or Nicolas? Nicolas Opoku. So you have to be specific. Yes. And when I mention Rodes in the French League, too, you should know that's Opoku. He plays for Amiens. They drew two to in that game. He was involved in as much as 20 def defensive actions. We're talking about defensive actions, tackles, clearances, interceptions. He made 15 um, clearances in that game, though they drew 2-2 two -two against Rude. Then Mohamed Salisu, they drew, they lost 1-0 against um, Lyon. That's a team and it's no one plays for. Shocking. In that game, <laughs> it's a shocking result. Okay. When you look at... Um, the position of the, the two teams. Yes. He was at the left side of a three backs uh, for Monaco. In that game, he made 18, 18 final third passes. A defender, 18 final third passes, and also won two, uh, two tackles in that game. But still, they lost. A, an 85th, 80, 80th minute goal, and Lyon had a second uh, uh, one back to back games for the first time this season and are almost out of the relegation zone. Then we have Jeff Slop at How the left. How many minutes did Enyashnyama play in that match? Around 70, 83. It's, it was immediately he was subbed off that um, Lyon, uh, Lyon scored the winner. Okay. Then Jeff Schlopp sparked that comeback draw for Crystal Palace against Man City. Then we have Lawrence Ofori. He plays for Morenres. They won 5-2 against Portmonesis in the um, Portuguese league. Then um, we have um, Elash Ousu plays for Ejoze. The same thing as Gideon Mensa. They won 2-0 against Ayasio in that game. He completed 42 of the 44 tack uh, passes he attempted. Then Kudus, you spoke an awful lot about team. Then we have Emmanuel, yeah. Emmanuel Bottin, who plays for Rio Avi. He scored the equalizer for them as he drew 1-1 against Vizela. And that is his second goal in the last two games. He now has three goal contributions in the last three games. Maybe he's taking a claim for himself for that number nine position as Miyaki and Semenyo are all being used as wingers. Maybe let's see what happens. Then Joseph Pencil, he now has five goal contributions in his last four games. Scored a brace for Jenk and they won 4 0 against Coltridge in that game. He attempted four shots, three of them were on target. Basically, that's a team. Everything good. Can I ask me a question then? Yeah. I mean, with knowing now that Fatah Isaac got a, a brace of an assist, 
And if, if you are going to edit this, does he have a, can he still have a place in this team, considering the performance of all the players? Can he? Well, we just take out Emmanuel Boatin, push Kudusin as a number nine, and put Fatao there. And consistently, we've seen Gideon Mensah, Ali Duseidu, consistently. Yes. He, Gideon Mensah has really been impressive. In the last seven games he has played, if you are checking the stats up, he's getting greens. Greens in the sense that they are rating him out of 10. And he's getting seven out of 10. That's the greens he's getting. Baba Rahman was back from injury. Yes, he was back, but Gideon Mensah's output was much, much better. decent mm. then. All right. But he was impressive as well. Interesting. All right. Thank you very much, Karim. Uh